boat precious jet my name's steve tyrrell this young man's charlie uh, we're here on the coventry canal in coventry you're not jumping down you stay there for a minute um, doing a bit more work on the boat today um, i've already done the work on the boat i'm recording this after the work because um, i forgot to record the one earlier anyway i hope you enjoy the video um, if you're not already subscribed then please consider doing so and um, take care Let's get into it. Right, I've had the bulkhead out. So that's out now. And on the floor here, I've drawn... There you go. Look. That's where the drain hole goes for the shower. And then, so I'm gonna cut a hole in there, just a square hole to allow it to go through. And then I'll do the same over here on the floor, just under the, uh, under the through holes. And then that's what I'll do is I'll cut them. And then I can start thinking about insulating. I can run the pipe in straight away, you see. Uh, and insulate straight away. So I've got two meters of pipe, which should probably be plenty, I'd have thought. And then the through hole here, there's another one in the side of the wall here, look. I am toying with the idea of having that plumbed up to um, a bilge pump under here. Because this, this bit of the engine room here separates the front of the boat from the back of the boat. And there's one the other side of the engine room as well. So there's one there as well, look. Um, and then the engine sits inside, like every other boat, the engine sits inside its own little uh, separated bay in case you get oil leaks and, and the like. But the only problem there is, you see, if I get a massive water leak at the front, at the water tanks, I won't know until this area becomes underwater. Because 600 litres through the boat will fill the back of the boat up here. And it will rise up and go over, over that bulkhead there. So what I'm thinking of doing is um, having a remotely fitted bilge switch here and then just having it plumbed into that through hole in the engine bay there so that um, if I do happen to get a flood under the shower for whatever reason um, the bilge pump will lift it straight out it'll happily lift it so that's one of the jobs today um, and while I've got these boards out here I'm going to take all three of the boards out here uh, lay the pipe in, cut the holes in the board, lay the pipe, insulate the bilge tape it up, put the boards back down um, I can't screw them in just yet because I need to put that uh, bilge pump in there if that's what I'm going to do so but that's the plan anyway and then once this is insulated this end here uh, all the boards down either side can uh, be screwed in then you know so that's probably one of the jobs I want to try and do today I have moved all the wood out of the boat you wouldn't believe it but the, all the wood's gone um, and I've also cut the wood there this is the the, the boards to go into the water tanks um, and I've got a nice big piece of insulation behind there to wrap the tanks in or I might need to buy some more but that's a start anyway and then once I've got these sole boards screwed down then um, start thinking about fitting the kitchen and stuff so I would still like to take off that board against the uh, under the gunnels there all the way to the front of the boat just to be nosy more than anything else just to make sure the water pipe and everything's in good condition and everything like that so right Anyway, let's uh, let's get on with lifting these boards and start here. We'll do a bit of work here, look. Okay, stand by.
Right, so as you've seen so far, got the uh, the shower tray is here. Um, I don't need to fit it exactly where it's going to be. The only reason why I put it down is I need to see whether I can fit this trap under the shower tray. Um, as you can see, it, it's not massive, but I just need to make sure it will fit. Um, I have another attachment still on the bottom of it to accept. But looking at this now, I think we'll be okay. But let's just go and get the other piece out of the back. I have is this. Okay. I haven't got the screw. I don't know what I've done with the uh, the screw to hold it, but that'll fit on there. Look. That's a perfect fit for that. That's obviously for the bilge. The other part that poses under there, obviously. But I just need to make sure now, because this is all going to be plumbed up underneath, and all I'm going to do is screw it down on top of the shower. So that will be plumbed up ready. See that's screwed in there. I can't unscrew that. So that just drops in there and... Okay. So that just sits in there then. So this is the bit that connects to the shower then. Okay, so I'm assuming that's what this is for, this tool here. Yeah. Okay. That spins that round there, look, that sits in there. So there's grooves set inside, and that should sit in there and act as a screwdriver. for a second so that can get tucked out of the way. If I've got that connected to the hose under the shower because I'm going to need to glue the board down without this being connected. I don't know whether you guys can see up there I'm assuming you can. Right so what I was saying is I'm gonna to have to set this under here already plumbed up to this hose and then glue the shower base on top and then once this is glued in place I need to be able to lift this up and screw it in, if that makes sense. Because I'm not going to have a plinth. Um, because I don't have a plinth in here to place the shower on, I've got to do it all under the shower base. But it should be easy enough, I can't see it being a major problem. Yeah, can't see it being an issue. And then once that's in, this this just slots down inside, look, I'm quite impressed with that. Maybe you can see that. So that should be okay. And all I wanted to find out was if I'd got enough space under there to fit the trap, because it looked bigger than it was. And obviously, it, you know, a lot of it's sitting above the shower, above the set, it's gonna be inset here. So that's gonna sit in there. And that's pretty much all you'll see in the shower. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Right, so I've had a play with that. I can put all that away now. I know that's going to fit. So let's stick you back on time lapse and carry on insulating under the bilge and get this covered and, and all taped up. Because now I know that fits. I can uh, I can start taping up all the bilge and get it all set ready.
Well, guess what just happened? Yes! Look at that bad boy in there, look! Another one there, another one there. That's the first sole board that's been screwed down. I should move this one out of the way. In fact, you've, you've, seen, the, uh, you've seen the floor now all insulated. So uh, I just took it out temporarily just so I could see where the center board is. So this can go down now. I'm not gonna screw it in just yet, but it can go down. So just give me a second. Right, there you go. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, and for those that you don't realize so far, that is Charlie. He had a haircut. <laughs> we scalped him, didn't we, Charlie? We took you to the barbers and had your head scalped, didn't we? Hey, look at him. Oh, bless him. I love him with short hair. I really do. I th he's, he looks such a skinny, lanky dog when he's got short hair. Because he's got little chicken legs, look. Little tiny chicken legs. Anyway, less about the dog. <laughs> right. So, as you probably saw, in the corner there, I have cut a hole for um, to fit the bilge pump. And what I've just remembered is now, I need to cut a small hole in the corner here as well um, for the ventilation, because uh, I am gonna have forced air ventilation through the bilge at the front of the boat. Um, in the engine room, don't matter, because that's gonna be constantly open and engine moving and stuff. And in the back of the boat, I may have something in there also, but at the moment, it's just gonna be the front of the boat. So this is the corner here where the um, the vent's going to come out. So once the shower wall goes in, which is going to be roughly here somewhere, behind the shower wall, there'll be a pipe comes all the way up just to the top here, and then it will just vent out. And that'll be it. It'll just, because it won't be wet air or moist, it'll just be cool, cold air out of the bilge. So just to keep it ventilated. And, and I'll probably only, well, I will, I'll only have the, uh, the, the bilge pump running, the air pump running when the boat's moving. So, right, last job of the day then. Yeah, it's messy again in there, look. I, I just seem to make more mess. For someone who's got OCD, I do, I do seem to make a lot of mess. So anyway, last job of the day. I've got a couple of props. I haven't got clamps, but I've been out and I've bought a couple of props, look. So these are just plasterboard props. So what I am going to do now, um, I'm gonna uh, move these boards out of the way temporarily pull this away from the bodywork from the side of the boat and up there as well pull it away and round the window and then I'm going to squirt in some uh, pink I showed you the day didn't I oh did I? I don't think you've seen that bit I've got some pink grip and this is good stuff because it, it sets rock hard that's great brilliant but the only problem is after about five ten years it goes hard and that's the problem I've got now is that the joint has broken it's come away from the side of the boat so I've also got some of this. So this is also a glue filler, whatever you want to call it, fixative, adhesive, sealant filler, whatever you want to call it, but it never goes hard. It always stays slightly rubbery. So I'm going to use both. So I'm going to use a bit of grip fill and I'm going to use some of this as well. And hopefully that will do the job. So give me five, 10 minutes to tidy up and um, as soon as I've got a bit of space tidied over here and vac the floor and got a bit of this dust up from where I've been cutting wood, um, once I've cleared a bit of a mess, I'll um, I'll put the camera back on and I'll record me just putting the sides up and gluing it and then and then using the props to to hold it in place. Then what I'll do is I'll just leave that for a a day or two. And um, there's a couple of jobs I can do tomorrow. I'll probably go and get um, a bilge pump from the Chandlers. Um, just a float one, just a cheap float pump, just to sit at the front of the boat. Um, yeah, right, so stand by, stand by.
Right, that's where I'm going to leave you. So that's all propped up. So I've got a couple of props there on the rail. And I've got a bit of wood I've just cut a bit higher up just to wedge the side in. And uh, it's done a good job. It's, uh, it's squirted out nice. Um, the glue, the two types of glue, they've squirted out nice. So that means there's good contact as they've, as they've squished out. So yeah, it's getting there. We are getting there feel a bit happier today I've done a bit more work and I think it's just a case of coming down and doing stuff even if you don't feel like it because um, as I said the last couple of weeks I've, I've felt a bit shitty so but I've, I've, I've today made the effort come out done some work I'm so happy I have I mean got a fair bit done today quite happy with that so anyway that'll be the end of the video so I hope you've enjoyed the video and um, if you're not subscribed, then uh, please consider subscribing. Um, half of my viewers aren't subscribers, which is fine, you know, but um, it all helps. Every extra subscriber helps, um, so it's all good. And also, as always, comment. I love your comments, they're great. They're absolutely fabulous. Um, it's what makes the videos for me. Uh, I enjoy making the videos, but reading your comments is what puts the cherry on the cake. It's, it's fabulous. So anyway, take care of yourselves and um, take care of your families and enjoy life, you know? That's what it's all about. Just a bit of enjoyment in life. So anyway, see you bye.